Your channel isn't growing on YouTube because your consistency sucks. And one thing that you must know is that consistency is key when you're trying to build an audience, when you're trying to build a community, and when you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. So if you're struggling to remain consistent or you're just starting out and you want some tips, this is the perfect video for you, boo, okay? I got you. Stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Amber Sharnice, and I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video today. I am here to produce the YouTube tips, the creator tips, okay? So that we can grow as content creators here on YouTube. So in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about consistency and how that is going to play a really big part in you growing your online community, whether that's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, did I say that already? Uh, Twitter, I don't know, all of them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but today we're specifically going to be focusing here on YouTube. So let's jump right on into that. First things first, you want to set a schedule. You need to be consistent on YouTube and setting a schedule is definitely going to assist you with doing that. You need to decide exactly how often a week that you want to upload videos. Um, and you can do that by asking your community if you already have one. Um, when y'all online, when y'all going to tune in to watch this video? Because if y'all ain't online, there's no need for me to post a video. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> make sure that you're communicating with your audience. And if you don't have an audience quite yet, do an upload schedule that's going to work around your daily life schedule. So you want to make sure that you're able to um, keep up with how often you're going to be posting because you always want to post quality content. So make sure that you're realistically setting a goal for yourself as far as how often you're be posting and stick to it. Number two, you want to plan your content, okay? Once you have a schedule in place, start planning your video content in advance. This will help you stay on track and ensure that you always have something to upload. So you wanna brainstorm ideas, write scripts, so you don't always have to think about what type of content it is that you wanna create. I personally like to use Notion, you guys. It's actually exactly what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at my social media calendar, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna screen record this for you so you can see exactly what I mean. So if you look at my screen here, I'm actually looking at the script of this entire video that I went ahead and created because I knew that I was gonna make this particular video. So what I like to do is I like to use Notion and I like to use their social media calendar. And I pretty much have all my content planned out um, until a certain amount of time. That way I know exactly what I'm filming. So even down here, I have another video idea that I already have listed out. I have the intro, the body, the outro, everything that I wanna talk about in my video is already prepped and planned for me and all I have to do is hit the record button and record it. Super easy, super simple. Tip number three, which is my biggest tip that I always tell my students when we're doing our one-on-one -on -one calls is to batch record and edit your videos. Now, whether you have an editor or whether you edit your own videos, that's up to you. But when you batch record, that can honestly be a lifesaver. So let's just say that you know that you're free one entire weekend out the whole month. And every other day, you know you have work or school, or other plans are just gonna prohibit you from filming. Choose those two particular days and film, film, film. Film so much content that you've created about five, six, 10 videos, as well as maybe like 20 shorts, all from you batch recording your content. This will give you a backlog of content. That way you don't have to worry about creating something new every single time you post. And what's even better about this, if you go ahead and batch record and you get these things edited, you can schedule them to post, okay? And all you gotta do is make sure that you go in on that day to engage with your audience when you know that you've posted something. And in speaking of engaging with your audience, number five is engaging with your your audience okay whatever somebody is commenting or asking a question on your post make sure that you are immediately responding to these people and not just like little cute one and two words and whatnot get in there and create conversation ask questions try to build rapport and a relationship with these people online because yeah you may think that these are just people online but these are actually your core audience these are your people that's gonna ride or die they're gonna share your content they're gonna post when they're watching you they're gonna tell their family and friends about you and those are the kind of people you need on your team okay so make sure that those are the people that you are targeting and then when they are commenting and engaging with you that you make sure that you respond and engage with them as well and then lastly you want to track your progress okay so you want to make sure that when you start Start this process you know your analytics you know what you have set in front of you you got your numbers and then when you start implementing these changes you want to make sure that you're keeping up with what you're doing to see if it's actually working right so like i said it's important to track your progress youtube has the analytic feature on there and it gives you so much detail and so much information about your videos that's going to help you know what's performing well what's not how long people like to watch your videos how short it lets you kind of know what kind of videos you should be posting and should not be posting based upon your community's reaction or your audience's reaction to those particular posts. And this will definitely help you grow your channel faster if you know exactly who you're targeting, what type of content they're wanting to see. And it's also going to encourage you to stay consistent long-term because you know that you have the tools that's going to help you, you know, 
do well in your videos. So there you have it, baby. These are my tips for, you know, staying consistent and growing your channel fast on YouTube. Stop being lazy, okay? Stop saying that you wanna start a YouTube channel and you know that you're gonna create one video and go sit for three months. That's not what we doing in 2023. We getting on here to grow and we get on here to grow quickly. And the only way to do that is to remain consistent and actually remember that you're building an audience. You're building a community of people. And then the more that you connect with these people, the bigger the audience will become, okay? So just keep it in your mind that consistency is key. You wanna make sure that you're creating yourself a good realistic schedule that you can stick to. Plan your content ahead of time. Batch record and edit your content so that you can schedule it. Use a content planner so that you know when you, you're going to, you know, post these particular types of videos, engage with your audience, and then make sure that you're tracking your progress so that you know what content works for your channel. I thank y'all so much for watching this video and I hope my tips and tricks helps you, okay? So if you binge watch my videos on this channel, my creator tip videos, and if you like what you see, definitely go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you just like me, okay, I have a vlog channel if you wanna see me on an everyday basis, okay? Well, not everyday, but a weekly basis when I'm posting content. If you just wanna see me day to day, okay? Do that, head over to Amber Charney TV, subscribe there and also follow me on Instagram at Amber Charnese because it's dope over there. I give so many tips on a day to day basis. I post there every single day except for Saturday and Sunday because child, I be chilling at home with the family and stuff so I don't be having time to post and stuff. But you see, you, you get what I mean, right? Okay, so make sure you do all that. Thank you again for tuning into the channel and watching this video. Peace. Are recording again. So if you're stuck, so if you're struggling to Facebook, Instagram, oh, uh, did I say that already? And write scripts so you're not trying to think of what type of creon. So you're not trying to always think about what type of content. Because I knew that I'm going to. Because I knew that. Well, yes, darling. That you. But by. But when you batch record. So that way you don't have to worry about. So that way you don't have to worry about creating something. Try to build rapport and a relationship with these people over the phone. Online. Because based upon your. Your. Good, reliable, a good, uh, why am I posing like that? <laughs> Lord Jesus, what am I doing? Where's my little knob? Just what my dreams are really made of